17 years after a nuclear apocalypse, the Hope County of Far Cry New Dawn is nothing like you remember. The landscape has been twisted and reshaped by fire and radiation. The resulting superbloom has filled it with brilliantly colorful plants and bitey wildlife, and a rampaging legion of scavengers known as the Highwaymen have set up ramshackle outposts amid the ruins. And Far Cry New Dawn's changes run much deeper than that, affecting everything from how weapons work to how you'll get around in this brave new world. In addition to Hope County survivors, there's a ray of hope lighting up the post-apocalypse, and his name is Rush. Rush and his band travel across the country looking to help settlements get back on their feet, and you're his captain of security until you arrive in Hope County and get ambushed by the Highwaymen, an army of live-for-today bandits led by twin sisters Mickey and Lou. You... You made us look weak. That ends now! From there, your main goal is to regroup, build up your home base at Prosperity, a fortified settlement of Hope County survivors, and make life as difficult for the Highwaymen as possible. You're free to wander and pursue missions however you see fit, though. Specialists, guns for hire, and fangs for hire are scattered across the map, including familiar faces like Grace Armstrong and Nick Rye, capable new gunslingers like Nana, and ferociously loyal animal friends like Timber and Horatio. They all need your help, and if you do them a solid, like finding Grace's stolen saw launcher prototype in a fortified train yard, for example, or rescuing a friendly pig-slash-living battering ram from slaughter, they'll repay the favor by joining your cause. Guns and fangs for hire can use their abilities to help you in battle and pull you out of danger, while specialists will lend their skills to your growing settlement, letting you upgrade Prosperity's facilities to craft better gear, unlock new fast travel options, including airdrops, and leave Hope County on expeditions. Generally, more people and animals on your side means you'll have a better chance of survival out in the unforgiving wilderness, as well as more furry faces to pet. Who's a good boy? Yes, you are good boar. Good, good tusk monster. Speaking of survival, you might encounter enemies out there who seem nearly impervious to your bullets. That's because weapons and vehicles now have ranks, and to craft better ones, you'll need to upgrade your workbench back at Prosperity. Not only does a rank 2 pistol pack more punch than even a level 1 machine gun, but higher ranked weapons also tend to include cool additions like scopes, silencers, and extra improvised appearances, so it's in your interest to start building a beefier arsenal as soon as possible. With help from recruited specialists and ethanol looted from outposts, you'll also be able to upgrade your selection of vehicles, explosives, health items, intel maps, and even your maximum health. Of course, all this takes raw crafting materials. With a little bit of puzzling and the occasional dancing fish, you can scavenge these from hidden treasure caches or steal them from the highwaymen, either by hijacking their convoys or raiding their outposts. And if you want a chance at greater rewards, you have the option to scavenge outposts, which repopulates them with a tougher contingent of highwaymen who will give up better rewards when you take them out. Not everyone you'll meet in Hope County is a highwayman or a settler. The wilderness is home to wandering hunters and scouts who might be willing to trade or share juicy info about nearby treasure caches or other points of interest. They're used to recruit locals into their ranks. You'll also be able to make contact with the remnants of the project at Eden's Gate, whose followers now embrace a reclusive, back-to-nature philosophy and a mythic reverence for their missing father, Joseph Seed. They'll even become allies, helping you hunt the highwaymen as you work to fulfill their strange prophecies. And while they may have rejected technology, they're still surrounded by plenty of hallucinatory weirdness fueled by their mind-controlled drug of choice, Bliss. Post-apocalyptic Hope County is filled with mystery, danger, and explosive potential for chaotic fun, especially if you bring a co-op buddy along for some road warrior hijinks. They're behind us! Yeah. Nice! <laughs> And Far Cry New Dawn's action extends far beyond the embattled Montana setting, with expeditions letting you travel to beached aircraft carriers, occupied Navajo villages, and other completely new, self-contained locations to locate and steal back special packages from the far-ranging highwaymen, and make a frantic getaway before they swarm you. It's all coming to PS4, Xbox One, and PC on February 15th, so for all things Far Cry, subscribe to this channel and visit us at news.ubisoft.com.